Yeah, during the summer season, we see a lot more snakes. Or do we? KPVI News That Works For You journalist Deanne Coffin set out to find more about the snakes in our area. She joins us now live in the newsroom. Deanne, look out, there's a snake behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt and Marlies. I talked to Zoo Idaho officials about the different types of snakes we have in our area and some people who have actually seen snakes in the area. As the Smith family heads up the trail for a hike, they talk about what they might see on their way up the hill. I told the kids there's snakes out, so stay out of the tall grass and keep your eyes open. And if you hear the rattle, just go the other way. I'm up here at the City Creek Trail where people I talked to said they have seen snakes on this trail. But experts say although it's not totally out of the question to see rattlesnakes in this area, more than likely it's a gopher snake that people are seeing. It's a common native snake here in Idaho and I have a feeling a lot of people are seeing gopher snakes right now especially in the afternoon when they're out sunning uh, asphalt pathways trails etc. Peter Pruitt with Zoo Idaho introduces us to Pat the gopher snake. He says Pat's harmless but says gopher snakes tend to mimic rattlesnakes behavior in that if they feel threatened even though they don't have a rattler they will lift their tail up as if they do. He says a rattlesnake will usually warn you by rattling their tail and their head is shaped like a heart. He says the color is similar but their patterns are different. A rattlesnake has a diamond pattern so you know the tan markings on Pat here are rectangular. The tan markings on a rattlesnake would be larger and more of a diamond shape. To see the difference between a gopher snake and a rattlesnake, we headed over to the Idaho Fish and Game, where they have a rattlesnake housed in a glass tank, where you can clearly see the diamond shape on the snake and its teeth as it opens its mouth wide. Idaho Department of Fish and Game, this is Nacelle. The customer service rep for the Fish and Game says they have already received several calls about snakes in the area. There's some concerns, especially with the warmer weather, that um, people are coming across more rattlesnakes and people are more out and about than um, they may have been previously. And so they're seeing things that may even look like a rattlesnake, but may just be a gopher snake. Reese Jensen says he runs up the City Creek Trail three days a week and says he's seen more than normal this year. Yes, a bunch, just about definitely every week. We just try to be aware and stay safe. This is their habitat, so we want to make sure we're respectful of their boundaries and give them the space they need. Zoo officials say the snakes are good for pest control, but if you happen to run into one, he says to not try to play with them or pick them up, regardless of what type of snake that they are. Just let them be. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI, news that works for you. Truer words were never spoken yeah. when we're talking about Doug Iverson. <laughs> yeah, he's got a